are watching the race for the White House tonight. The Democrats sent their representatives to New Haven to drum up some support. And they talked about all the issues. We're talking about jobs, women's rights, the cost of college. And News 8's Bob Wilson was there. Well, it is pretty exciting because Connecticut's still in play as we approach the primary. Both sides here tonight, very enthusiastic, fired up, hoping their candidate will pull through. Uh, and I want to welcome her to, uh, to Connecticut, and that's Nina Turner. Representative Rosa DeLora introduced the two surrogates, sitting in for Sanders, Senator Nina Turner from Ohio, and for Clinton, Congresswoman Sheila Jackson Lee from Texas. Both sides came together to talk about their candidates, the issues, and the hope for the future. Hillary's supremely qualified. Uh, we think she just has decades, decades of experience on women's issues, on health care issues, on children's issues. While Clinton is leading in delegates, Sanders had more supporters in the crowd at the Betsy Ross School Parish House in New Haven. What are you thinking about Bernie? Is he going to make it? No, he's very unlikely to. The machine has a lot of control in this country, but I'm still for him. It's not because he will or won't succeed in receive, getting to the presidency. It's because he's the person who speaks my beliefs. New Haven Senator Martin Looney was on hand to watch and listen. While he hasn't come out publicly and supported a candidate for president yet, he says he is proud of the Democratic Party, whichever candidate makes it to November. Uh, uh, both candidates on our side are so superior because of the fact that uh, that Secretary Clinton, with her experience, and Senator Sanders, with his uh, wonderful advocacy, and the fact that they are really running an issue-oriented campaign, as opposed to the uh, just absolutely reckless uh, personal attacks on the other side. And on the Republican side, we have talked to the state Republicans. They say the candidates have had their people in contact with them, looking for places to set up headquarters, and they'll have boots on the ground soon across Connecticut. We're in New Haven. Bob Wilson, News 8.